If you use Windows subsystem for Android, you have to install these apps. Trust me, these apps will enhance your Android experience in Windows 11. First app is called AOW Tools. It is a Windows application, but it is made for Windows subsystem for Android. Using this, you can easily install Android application into WSA. You can manage your installed applications. You can also see the running applications and best part you can do a file transfer in between the Android system and your Windows 11 desktop. Here is a quick example. I'm just going to send this file to the Android system just like that. Now it is in here. You can also do the opposite if you want to transfer the files from Android system to Windows. You can simply just click on download and choose the location where you want to save it. You can also see your Android systems info like the Android version. Currently it's Android 13. This app is available in Microsoft Store. There is a free version and premium version, but actually free version does everything what premium version does. Premium version is just to support the developer. If you want to support him, you can buy the premium version, but there is no trial, no restriction at all. You can use this for free. And trust me, this is like must have tool if you use Android system in your Windows 11. Next app is a Android app and it is called Home Launcher or ABC Launcher. This app acts as a app drawer and shows you all the Android apps that you have installed in your Windows 11. You can also manage your applications from here. You can open them just like that or you can just right click and you can uninstall them, hide them. And there are a bunch of other options. Even app info is there. Trust me, I have tried almost all the popular Android launchers and drawers, but this one is the best one. Since traditional launchers doesn't work that well in Windows 11, such as the Nova launcher, having a app drawer like application is much better than a full launcher like the Nova launcher or Microsoft launcher or whatever launcher you use because it's just simple. You see all of your applications and you can just easily manage them. Next app is called WSA System Control. This is a really simple Windows application for WSA. So basically, once you install this, just open it. Once you open this, it will put a icon in system tray and the icon will look like the WSA icon. You can right click on it. Here it will give you a few options. If the WSA isn't started, you can start the WSA with one click. You can also stop the WSA with one click and you can also open the Android settings. Next app is called Aurora Store. This is a app store for Android and also the best alternative for Google Play Store. As you know, WSA doesn't come with Google Play Store. It comes with something called Amazon App Store and I don't know what to say about it. It's just too bad. There are not enough apps and games and the existing apps and games in Amazon App Store are just terrible. That's all I have to say. So this Aurora App Store is open source and here you can find all the Android games and apps just like Google Play Store. It is a one of the best alternative for Google Play Store and uh, sometime it can be really slow might not even work just like right now it's not opening no matter what i do so but it's a good application it's sad that sometime it doesn't work so the final app is called play store yes if you have this app you don't need any app because using this you can download any and all android apps and also games yeah you can't just download a apk file of google play store and install it and start using it no uh, the only problem using google play store in windows 11 with wsa is that it's a little bit tricky you can't just install apk and it will start working i have made a video on how to install wsa with the google play store you should check that video out and trust me it's the easy method there are a couple of methods to install google play store in wsa windows 11 and this one is the easiest method and once you have the google play store yeah, go ahead and install any Android app or any Android game. If you have this, you have everything. Yeah, that's it. 
Hope you enjoyed it. If you still have any questions or have any suggestions for me, you can always do the comment and we can have some chit chat in the comment section too. Yeah, that's it. I will see you in the next one. Take care of yourself and have fun. Bye-bye.